Hey guys, in a recent video, Tularian Community College titled the video, Stop Buying This Garbage, Magic the Gathering Mystery Cubes and Boxes. Now I will go ahead and reveal that I can buy these. So they retail for about 20 bucks. I can get them for 14 or 12. And about essentially Walmart allows me to make 40% margins on any magic product from the retail MSRP, which includes booster packs, blisters, planeswalker decks. They're trying to get to 40%. Right now it's 50 exactly. 50% um, in a strat packs. Um, it actually is surprising how many old packs they have available. They have all of them. Uh, they have Future Sight, The Dark. Uh, they just price them as if they are a store. I mean, well, I would be not surprised if the people handling magic, well, obviously they understand magic prices. But uh, overall, I think these are not a, as bad of a deal as Hilarion Community College uh, makes them out to be. And I think that he is, he's incentivized to, quote, call out this product when really, I mean, he, his final conclusion is this garbage is a ripoff. But really, a lot of people just like to see these open. Some of the most popular openings are of this product. Um, Unsleeved MTG, for instance, has many of these openings, and they outperform anything else because they're a product that you can buy at any Walmart. Not everyone even has a game store, and not every game store sells the same products or has the same availability. So when you go to every Walmart or every Target or wherever, yeah, you see this everywhere, and you know why it's so popular? You know why is it everywhere? Because people buy it. Um, if no one bought it, then they wouldn't sell it, right? Um, and then people who would buy this would continue to buy more and more. So I think Tolarian Community College is making this video, and it's very self-serving because he wants us to buy these cubes from Card Kingdom, just like he wanted us to buy these intro decks from Card Kingdom. Do you guys remember those intro decks? I think they, they ended up with a grade of B plus or something. And the value of these intro decks was very little. Like maybe you put like 15 bucks and the value would be like two bucks. Um, essentially, what I need to tell you about these intro decks is that they are not as good value as the power cube because the power cube, at the very least, it's a little bit random. You can get lucky. It's a kind of a gamble. The Card Kingdom intro decks, there's no gamble. Everyone's given like the same garbage. So if you want to talk about a garbage product of bulk where nothing is over a dollar, I don't know. I mean, we gave that a B plus, right, Tolarian? And we're going to give this a do not buy when we are actively telling new players to buy something that is less. And the only takeaway is, oh, well, they have tip cards. People have the internet on their phone nowadays. So I'm not sure that we need tip cards. So back to the premise of this video and why I think this is a very uh, poor, if people wanna spend their money, let's say, you know what's a poor expected value? If people donate to Tolarian Community College on Patreon, right? You would get physically no product. So let me, let me repeat that again. If people wanted to spend their hard earned money on a power cube, how is that any different from people donating hundreds of thousands of dollars to Tolarian on Patreon? Can I have a dollar? Probably the most famous magic video in existence because it frames us as e-beggars, all of us, even those who don't do that. Uh, because it makes, you know, if the biggest YouTuber is begging for a dollar, what does that make everyone else? It's a terrible exercise, I know, but at the same time, Anyway, back to the point of this video. I think it's hypocritical, and I would urge the professor not to make... I'm not going to call him professor anymore after I figured out his real background. Um, I would urge Tolarian Community College not to make these videos because it does not help. Um, the people who are buying this stuff at Walmart or the people I'm trying to sell my st stuff to, it's a as an add-on, they're not going to Walmart to buy power cubes, unless you're like some YouTubers, right? But for the most part, it's like, oh, hey, I see a power cube, I have a little bit more money, let me buy from a power cube. 
Um, these are not the typical players who would watch a YouTube video, uh, video of Magic on YouTube. And their parents, grandparents, they're not going to watch, know who Tolarian Community College is. So it's kind of like feeding to, preaching to the choir. And I see this a lot where people will make a statement and it seems good. Like Wedge will say, oh, people are so awesome. And then that's it. And it's like, okay, so what's the evidence of this? Did you adopt any pit bulls? Did you volunteer at an animal shelter? Did you donate some money because you have tons of money wedge? Nope. I just, I just thought pit bulls was awesome and I got all my likes. And I think this is one of those videos where um, you're not going to find too many people who says, say this is a good deal. Right? Not many people will say, oh, yay Walmart, yay GameStop. I mean, one of the common things that happens in video games is that everyone who's worked at GameStop, even for a day or two, will make, and here's a CardKingdom.com advertisement with the TCC, right? And the same video. Hmm, surprising. Hmm, I wonder where Tolarian, I wonder what Tolarian Community College is saying. Should we buy cards from Walmart or CardKingdom.com slash TCC? So we can get kickback. Oh, interesting. Or should we donate to someone's health, health insurance bill? All very valid. I mean, how how bad of a deal is it to for a patron in terms of expected value? So he makes it very simple. He makes it like, hey, this is a bad deal because you don't get enough value from your cards. But if that was the only principle that we were going off, and that was the only thing we would look at, then we would also say the Patreon donation would be the worst deal because we don't get any cards from Patreon, right? If we donate $70 to Weds, we don't get a signed card. We do get ample excuses, but we never get our signed bulk card ever. Or we don't get tracking for it, it as well. So I made a video about that, how his longtime subscribers are not getting their signed cards that he supposedly is not mailing. And this is back when he was in the U.S., I highly doubt that he's now mo more motivated to mail than because he's in the great uh, the UK now, Great Britain, uh, and most of his subscribers are from the US. Although apparently now he's British, right? So okay, maybe for tax reasons or for uh, special benefits, as they call it on the TV shows. Anyway, I just find it kind of laughable. Um, it's in my opinion laughable because. Um, a, you have him talking about the expected value, the value of each of these promos, and so on, and he's assigning a retail value for it. But he doesn't understand, nor do I think he cares, because this video will get lots of likes, it'll get lots of views, because he mentions Mystery Walmart Pack. The reason so many people are interested in watching a video of those openings is because it's available to them. So imagine like a game, MTG Arena, and you are a diehard, and half the population uses Macs, and then the other half uses PCs, but the game is only available on PC. Now, would you run ads against Mac users? No, because they couldn't play the game, right? Like, they couldn't play the game. And this really is a gamble. You don't know what's inside. It's a, quote, mystery. Um, and that's what Walmart sells you on, and that's what a local game, that's what Booster Pack is. Um, and again, if you go online on YouTube and you search the most uh, viewed pack openings, it will be Walmart mystery cubes. People buy them. People love them. And for you to say how someone should spend their free money, you who don't have a job, um, is kind of regretful. Um, I feel sad because... If you took the logic that you're using that, hey, we should only buy stuff that has good value to the end conclusion, then no one would ever spend any money at a local game store. No one would ever have, no one would donate to any patron because that's bad expected value, right? In terms of physical, tangible items. You spend 70 bucks and you can't even get a bulk card. That's pretty bad value. At least when you spend $70 on these cubes, you get, a bunch, you know, some plastic to uh, play with. So my my opinion of this is that um, he's trying to make more money for himself. 
Um, otherwise, he wouldn't have advertisements. He has his, oh, thank you to Patreons. Thank you. Uh, I, it's like fe the people that need to see this video will never see this video. The people who don't need to see this video who are anti-Walmart. Oh, back to my GameStop thing. On YouTube, the most popular video on GameStop is how bad GameStop is. Yet GameStop paid these employees, um, gave them money when no one else would hire them. And then suddenly they bad talk them. Like it's an entry level job. It's a Walmart. What do you expect? It's a Walmart. Like that's what I find most offensive is this uh, liberal and leftist mentality that I'm too good to work at Walmart. I'm too good to dr be an Uber driver or a pizza delivery driver. Like many magic players have said um, they're too good to do that. No one's too good to do that. I'm not too good to do that. Um, you know, uh, what's his name? The Omaha dude, Warren Buffett. He eats at the same diner still, and he pays 50 cents because he has a deal with the diner. Diner obviously is like, okay, Warren Buffett eats at our diner. We'll be fine. Um, but he has a deal where he's been going to the same diner all the time. He eats McDonald's. This is a billionaire with a B. He's not too good. I guarantee you, he would, you know, he would work at Walmart. He, I was watching this very rich YouTuber. And he works in Amazon because he likes having a job. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, there's some people who work hard, and there's some people who are lazy as F. Like, and for you to tell them, you know, people who work an actual job, a nine to five job, how to spend their money, and say, hey, you're dumb for spending money this way, when clearly the one, some of the most popular videos on YouTube. Or people opening these items, I think it's very foolish, and I think it's a first. Tolarian Community College, before he made hundreds of thousands of dollars, he was more of an ordinary magic player. Now he can't see the trees. He can't see it, and this video tells me that he can't see it. For him, the magic cube—it doesn't make sense for anyone to buy this magic cube. Yet he's ignoring basic economic factors where. Wait, what, if no one's buying this and it doesn't make any sense and people are getting ripped off all the time, why would they A, continue to buy it, and why would new players continue to buy it until it's full, it's in every Target, it's in every Walmart, it's in every Costco, it's everywhere. So if this product was so bad in the free market, which we live in, capitalism, which is amazing and I love it, why would this product not fail if no one would buy it? And the question is, it's not that bad. Or the answer is, it's not that bad. And I think he's confusing some things. He's confusing the need for value with this item, which is being purchased as a, we don't care about the, what the value of this item is. If you cared about value all the time, you would never open a single booster pack. You would never go to a pre-release. You would never go to F, uh, a draft. If you cared about value every single time, Opening a booster pack. I just opened a bunch of Innistrad and I got slaughtered, but it was fun. I like Innistrad and we didn't come close to breaking even. We made, I think, $5 out of the expected $65 that we spent. But hey, you know what the most popular videos on YouTube are for Magic? Pack openings. Pack openings. And they continue to get views many months, many years. And some of the most most viewed pack openings are of this product. So I don't know what to say to Tolarian except that I think he's sitting from a pedestal and he's he doesn't understand the regular magic casual players anymore because he's how can you if you're being flown out for free at GPs you don't pay for anything you get free product all the time and you're getting hundreds of thousands of dollar donations you might not even need health insurance at that point so anyway subscribe to my other channel so I can get a little bit of a bittersweet vengeance on the Houston social media marketers um, I really need to get my numbers up on this channel the TYGEO channel because then I will be able to go to the conference, which they will invite me for sure, because they invited me already and I went. And then I will be able to make a PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give a fake PowerPoint presentation because they have to review the PowerPoint. And then when it's time for the real one. Yep. Anyway, bye.